us we are off to a clear round show jumping which is really exciting and also this is part two of our preparing for our first ever one day event that is in about two weeks now so that is very exciting as well but today will be a clear round which is some show jumping practice for us really and just aiming to get two nice clear rounds and hopefully no refusals as that has always been one of our main things she likes to refuse at the first fence but hopefully today we will ride through that and hopefully have two clear rounds so also today me and Rosie will be doing our two ever biggest show jumping rounds we are doing 50 centimeters and 60 centimeters so they are not massive jumps at the moment but they are our biggest show jumping rounds we do train a lot higher than that at the moment so hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult i'm not going to say it's not going to be hard because that will be setting myself up for failure but hopefully it will all be good and i won't fall off or have anything bad go wrong here Rosie? yeah but yeah Rosie has been feeling amazing recently so hopefully she carries that on today Right, so let's get Rosie all through and get her ready to load. So all of our tack is already in here. It's got it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Since the last time you would have seen the horse box, there have been some things added, as you can see, to the back here if I take you around also can you see that crazy ponies <laughs> so cool so yeah I've got Rosie's massage pad here to go in the back because we're going to put this on when we get there today as we're going to have a little bit of time for me to walk the course hopefully in there let's open up the ramp Pin them back. The amazing thing about this ramp is like I can just open one and then I open the other and the ramp doesn't come down. You have to like pull it down. It's good because you only need one hand to do it. And partition. I'm just going to quickly open Rosie's window up because it's so hot today. That's also one of my other favourite parts, the windows. This one's already, yeah, this one's already open. Rosie is all loaded now and just having some nuts because she's a good girl. She loves it in her. So we are now on our way to the show jumping and my 50 centimetre class is at 11.57 and my 60 centimetres is at 17 minutes past 12 so we haven't got long between the classes which is a good thing actually because it means I don't have to get off and have Rosie standing around doing nothing so we'll have like less than 15 minutes in between so we're getting there quite early so we have enough time to walk the course, warm Rosie up and make sure she's all relaxed. So the aim for today will be to have no refusals as that has been our biggest problem and I'd like to get two clear rounds because then we can have two nice rosettes but, <laughs> but I feel like I would be most happy if we don't have any refusals because polls are Rosie's department so. I'll just be happy if we don't spend the afternoon in the hospital. Yeah exactly, <laughs> yeah that's, that's for Rosie to decide. <laughs> But yeah, so we have only just left, so we have about, what, 40 minutes? Yeah, about 40 minutes until we get there. This venue is a place that I have been to, but I've never been there with Rosie. I think Rosie's been there once when she was a baby, but Rosie won't remember that, so 
this will be our first time going there which is also very exciting and from what i've seen they like to make their courses quite twisty and what would you say quite small. quite small and twisty lots yeah lots of jumps in a small area so keep us on our toes i guess so yeah we'll be there in about 40 minutes and we'll see you then So I'm going to give you a quick voiceover of this 50 centimeter round and as you can see some of the jumps are a little bit big for a 50 I think but Rosie was amazing and as you can see here I am just walking her around just before I start I only like took her up top and then went into trot and then cantered around to our first fence so I won't voice over the whole round I'll just quickly tell you what happened so we had one pole in the 50 which was the third fence which you'll see in a minute I just think the we really, really didn't see it properly or pick up her feet but that was the only pulse so i'm actually really proud of her we didn't have a single refusal and as you can see here for the first fence i was like pushing her right on like get over this and she actually was amazing and then as soon as we were over the first fence she didn't even look at anything else but yeah we did get one pole so it wasn't a clear round but that doesn't really bother me but i will leave you to watch the rest of the round <laughs> So you have just seen the 50 centimetre round and now we have just gone in for the 60 centimetres and again I've just walked up the top there before I put her into trot and then count around to our first fence. So Rosie has already seen all of these jumps so is familiar with them so I was more confident that she was going to go over them and not refuse and here you can see she's trotting around and you'll notice my first mistake in a minute. So when I asked her to go into canter I stupidly did not check her canter lead and I had put her on to the wrong counter lead so that means that she was unbalanced towards the first fence but luckily Rosie is a very very clever pony and left it up and then she corrects her own lead over the fence and we canter on down to the second one so as you can see these have all been put up to 60 centimeters now which me and Rosie are quite comfortable with so we're going around now to the third fence and you can see again that she knocks this one again so it wasn't a clear round but I think it's a bit weird that she knocked that one in this round because she had a nice stride. So I just think it was an unlucky pole. So in this round, she also had one other pole, which was more my fault. I didn't steady her enough and it was quite a tight turn out of this double round to this orange one, which is the where she knocked her second pole. But to be honest, I don't really mind because we went for no refusals and that's what we came out with. And everything else is sort of just a little bit unlucky and it's all fine and here you can see she's going lovely i corrected her can to lead and so i will leave you to watch the rest of this round
So I am here with Rosie now and we are back from the clear round. As you can see, she's a very happy pony, aren't you? So to be honest, the day could not have gone any better. I did exactly what I wanted to go do. We had zero refusals, didn't we, Rosie? And the courses were built absolutely massive, weren't they? Well, obviously they were no bigger than the heights, I guess, but they were pretty big for what I've seen of a 50 and a 60 before. But yeah, Rosie was amazing. We just had one pull down in the 50, which was probably more, I let her get too fast and didn't get didn't get right in the corner so i'll take that one rosie and um then in the 60 we had two poles down which was just really unlucky poles and the course was extremely twisty but at the end of the day we didn't have any refusals which is what i wanted so i couldn't be more happy with her i feel like it was a great preparation for our first one day event and feeling very confident about it now but also the jumps were extremely spooky practically every jump had fillers and I know that we didn't go clear, but at the end of the day, we didn't have any refusals. So that was the aim of the day. And we succeeded, didn't we, Rosie? So to be honest, I'm feeling really confident about the show jumping part as well now of our first one day event. And I feel like we've had a lot of practice and preparation now. And we also have a dressage competition next weekend, which we're excited about. We have another prelim test and an intro. So we're going to have plenty of practice, aren't we? Yeah. So this will be the end of today's video. We really hope you enjoyed and if you did, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one.